Uh, Graham, uh, a full week and then another full week of training yeah. with the new players as well. Mm. So useful, isn't it, at this point? It is, yeah. It is. It was quite a heavy workload for the for the squad um, bef in the first half of the or first month of the season because um, it was Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, and plus we didn't have you know the the numbers that we probably needed to um, to really uh, be uh, content with the, the games, but. We um, won a lot of games, which is great, and um, and then we've brought in the um, several reinforcements uh, just before the window closed. So um, the the weeks that we have free to to train are, are really valuable to us because it's a bit like um, going back to pre season with with like you know four or five new players, and then we can sort of get them into the the swing of things, assess their fitness, um, and obviously get them on board with what we want to do tactically. So. Um, it's, been, it's been a good week so far. We've managed to do that uh, yesterday. We'll do it again today. And obviously Friday, looking forward to the game. So nice that we don't have to ask you about transfers anymore. <laughs> it's nice for us. It's probably nice for you as well. I know those players are now starting to settle in. And, and mm. Are you liking what you've seen so far? Yeah, look, we, we um, I, th I think we were quite clear on the, sort of the profile of players that we wanted to bring in, uh, that we needed to bring in for the, the long haul, for the long term uh, objective. And... Um, we believe that we've we've got the right players for the right uh, positions and uh, right characters, right personalities, um, lads who have um, succeeded and had success before, as, as in promotions and stuff. Um, so you know, if we look at the the window as a whole, I think it's been um, a really productive one for us. Um, I'm delighted with the players that we brought in to add to the, the quality we already had. Um, <coughs> Excuse me, but it's, um, but it's about them settling in as quick as possible and getting up to speed. And, and there's still an assessment period going on about where they are um, physically because um, obviously uh, they, a couple of them they've not been in the team, um, and then we don't know how how um, how they've trained in between. Um, so we're just going to assess them over these these um, these couple of weeks and and get them up to speed. But we, they look um, ready in training, but obviously training is a, a different sort of challenge to a full game. And now you know what you've got. It's so you know what you're working with. You know yeah. what you've got. You can just get on with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. It's great. Yeah, getting on with it is what we like to do. You know, and uh, instead of talking about what ifs and yeah. and maybes. So um, you know, when when the window did did close, uh, it was a sigh of relief from me because I looked at the, the the quality, the squad, and the strength we had, and I was delighted with that. And um, and uh, didn't have to do the dance anymore, and uh, just get on with being a coach. So, uh, but yeah, it's it's been a lot of hard work, and we were, I I felt we were really disciplined and patient in our approach, um, which is good. Um, we we didn't just go for any player. We wanted to get the right players in for the right positions with the right profiles, which we set out. You know, in the summer before we even came back into training. There must be a temptation sometimes when oh yeah when it's getting to that. Yeah. Point you're not actually we need bodies. Yes, yeah, definitely, hundred percent. It's there because um, there's there's always players available and and good players. You know what I mean? Good players. You know what I mean? That that you you say yeah, he could definitely play and 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 help us maybe in in League Two. But um, are they the right profiles of what we set out? And are the targets that we set out to get still available? And if they are, we want to be patient and try and get those guys in and. Um, yeah, we, um, fortunately for us, we, we've done that, um, and uh, yeah, I, I believe there's been a um, a little bit of a different vibe this week with the competition, um, which is good, and uh, and that's what we need. I think every every um, elite um, team uh, thrives on competition, and we want to become an elite team, as in at the level we're at, we want to be uh, amongst the best. So we have to have standards and competition all the way through the week. Which players, I believe, the right players thrive on, um, and um, and rise to the challenge. So we we've, we've seen that in the in the first few days, you know, of this week. Any injuries? Any issues in the squad at the moment? Um, yeah, we've got a you know we've got a, um, a few at the moment. Um, obviously, MJ's been missing for for three weeks, so um, he's had an injection um, just to settle uh, his issue down. Uh, Mo has missed this week. Um, you know, he tried to give it a go last week, but you know, he he did a few runs at half time and, and said that his his foot was killing him. So um, that's why we, we felt it prudent not to put him on. Um, you know, my, my worst case scenario is putting someone on for 20 minutes and and then missing six to eight weeks or something like that. It's 
it's not the it's not the time to to risk people like that. Um, yeah, uh, Lex hasn't trained this week. Um, who else? Yeah, Ash Hunter um, obviously came off in the game, so he's going for a scan today. So we'll we'll see how that is. Um, uh, okay, Matt Dennis, sorry, Matt, Matt Dennis, who after the the uh, game against Chelsea uh, last week hasn't trained. Um, he's uh, picked up a l another little niggle, so um, he hasn't trained at all. Um, so we we. Fortunately for us, we brought those players yeah. in because um, we'd be seriously down on on numbers just to, to put a team out if if it happened maybe three or four weeks ago. Nomination for manager of the month. Yeah, yeah. Um, look, it's, uh, it's just testament to the results that the the club have produced, and uh, you know I want to say the team because it's the players go out there, but backed up by a magnificent staff as well, and, and the supporters have played their part in that as well. So it's it's always a a club effort for me. Um, but it's obviously as the one gets all the stick if it goes wrong. We also get the odd little bit of praise now and then. <laughs> but you know, I never kid myself that it's it's down to anything special that I've done. It's it's down to the, a group of people that have come together to um to to um, sort of rebuild and, and make sure we start off on the right foot. So it's um yeah, it's great credit to everyone. Second versus first on Saturday at Stadium mm. MK. That's a, that's one to look forward to, isn't it, for everyone? Uh, I look forward to every game of football. I think they're all opportunity. I, do, I really do. You know, listen. There's there's different sort of um, environments and sort of feelings going into different types of games. Uh, but you want to be involved at the, the right end of the table. Mm. You know, that's um, you know the, the more games we're involved in like this. Um, you know, you know, uh, in the top positions, that means we're doing reasonably well to to be in those games. And uh, so, it, but like I said, it is early yeah, in the league, so we, we don't look into that um, right now. But listen, you get it, similar to the Wrexham game, you have to look at what Notts County have done over the previous year, and you know they're a good team and um, got a really good manager. Um, and uh, yeah, it'll be a tough test for us. But look, we've seen it last week, the week before. We haven't had an easy game yet. We've won four of those six, but none of them have been easy. So we, we have to make sure that we're we're the best level we can be at, but it's a it's a game that I think there'll be a, a bit of a profile on, um, obviously with the international weekend, um, and we don't want to let our club down. When we spoke to Alex Gilby on, on Saturday, he said that the players can't constantly be looking for, to you and to Chris mm. to, to change things around yep. or to, to make different decisions. How how how, much, how important is it for them to have that responsibility on the pitch, and how frustrating is it for you that sometimes you can't necessarily get those messages across to the players? Um, it, it's, it's not frustrating because um, for me, because I, I know that's a reality of football, you know, um, that you, you can't, um, and we don't want to um, run every decision that a player has to you make. Can't kick by kick. No, no. Uh, um, uh, so we don't even pretend to do that during, during the week. We give them issues to solve during the week. We, we ask them questions. We, we ask for answers. We want them to, to, to be able to think clearly. Um, and, and make decisions because decisions happen so quick. So you almost have to train the instinct to make the right decision because um, you don't have that much time to think. Um, but yeah, I, I, I saw Gilbs's uh, comments, he, and he, I think he's correct in um, in everyone taking responsibility, not just players. Not so I'm, I'm not looking at that performance and saying and just putting all the blame on the players. I'm asking them questions about this and what can I do better to help you prepare for. Uh, maybe the second half because I thought the first half was was superb, um, one of the best halves we've played, um, and deservedly leading. Um, but there's a there's a contrast to the first and the second half, and um, I think there's things that we've questioned this week. We've spoke a lot with the players, we've shown them, we've worked on the training pitch, and that's what we have. To, you know, we, it's not about listen. It's talking at the start to actually uh, understand what we have to do better. And, and it's about actions. It's about actually putting into training. But the biggest thing in professional sport is taking what you do in training and repeating it in a game situation, regardless of w what scenario is happening. And that's where um, I feel we need to get better at them because we, we see the, the level, the training, the players in training is superb and we've seen it in the first half. So I'll be, I'll be more um, disturbed and frustrated if um, we hadn't seen any, you know, we hadn't picked up any points, we hadn't won any games, and we had, you know, we were being outplayed all the time. But I, I would say we've been on on top in majority of the games for a, a big chunk of it, but then lost our way a little bit. So that's where we have to uh, have to correct that, and it starts in the mind.
it does start in the mind. You know that it's the it's the key to everything, um, and about keeping your confidence and and, um, and and focusing on what we do well. That that that's where where I feel we've sort of gone off our rail a little bit in in games where we thought about the opposition more than about ourselves, and uh, that's what we're trying to correct. And I think it says a lot about the way your team start games. Is that most of the teams that you have played have made changes at half time? Yeah. And not just you know tactically. Yeah. Substitutions at half time. Yeah, yeah, no, we look, it's something we've seen. I think um, two teams have made three subs at one time, you know, one at half time, one at 60 minutes. I think, um, uh, I think there's only two games where the opposition haven't changed at half time because of what, what we're doing. Um, so that, that, that should lead to more confidence from the players and from our group. Um, but I think we've got. Um, I think we've got disturbed in our thoughts about oh, what they're doing when I think we should continue and doing what we're doing. I think the, the best teams are consistent with what they they do. They believe in what they do. They don't change from game to game. Look, if we if we want to change from game to game about what the opposition do, we're going to do a lot of training. Uh, we're going to be in every day because there's a game every three days. So to change everything you do, it's impossible, I believe. Um, certainly if you want to be a successful team, and one that's consistent, and that's what we're trying to get. So um, that, that for me is where our lessons need, need to be learned about um, um, taking the confidence from how well we've played against all, all uh, different uh, opposition, different formations, and then um, and just overcoming that by sticking to our principles. But I, there's definitely been a, an issue there for us to fix. Um, we, we always take account, uh, accountability for that. I'm part of that process, so I have to be better at making sure that our, our good spells last longer. How heart are you taking as well in the fact that you, you say there's still plenty of work to be doing to, mm. to, to make this team a perfectly functioning unit, yeah. and yet it feels like you started the, the season really, really well? Well, our, our results show that, you know, and we've, <coughs> excuse me, we've got the points on board that, you know, that we've deserved. Um, and that, that's the thing, we've got to understand that, you know, you, you get what you earn, and, and we've earned that, no one's given us anything. Um, so, but look, perfection doesn't exist, you know, and we've got to get our heads that we, you know, are, listen, everyone talks about this, you know, the strife for perfection and stuff. That's good because it keeps you on, on, the, on, on the straight and narrow and keeps you trying to achieve. But you also got to have an understanding that you're not going to play a perfect game. There's going to be mistakes. There's going to be something goes against you, but you can't lose your focus and, and concentration and your belief just because of one or two things going your against you or making a mistake and there's not been a player that's walked on a pitch that hasn't made a mistake you know what I mean I could ask every player before they play tomorrow are you going to make a mistake and they'll all put their hand up and say probably that's it it's out of the way let's crack on you know it's the next action that's the most important thing so um, that, that, for, that for me is where, where the key to our, our long term success uh, lies it's in our mindset about um, taking the hits understanding the mistake taking account for that mistake and then moving on to the next action, and that if if we do that more consistently, and and um, and and uh, you know in the games especially, um, that's where we will fulfil our potential because it is potential at the moment, and there's a long way to go. Like we said, brought the new players in as well, um, but I think I think every player can can improve. I think the team can improve. I think I can improve. Um, so that's what we have to strive to do every day.